Are you sure about this? Uh huh. <laughs> We've totally fallen apart here on the Monday Sampler. Our CD player is not working. We had the Shook Twins back there from their album Windows, a song called Shine On, which they did here in the studio. We also have Vagabond Opera from their album Sing For Your Lives. And we had Red Balloon. Let's see here if I can... Uh, I, let's see. Oh, I know. Here, we'll play a little... Uh, we'll, we'll keep in the uh, sort of science fiction-y... Uh, mood here okay well I've got here from uh, two participants in the upcoming 48 hour film festival I've got Josh and Miss Davison are with us here in the studio are we are you on the microphone there yeah are I think we? so hey okay so what is what is the uh, 48 hour film festival oh Catherine, you're going to have to move over on that mic there. That still has a buzz. Um, over here? Yeah, yeah. Move in there. Okay, get on close there to the microphone. Come okay. on in close here. Yes. And uh, this is starting this weekend where they will get an assignment and they have 48 hours to put a whole film together. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Are you going to do video or are you going to actually expose silver nitrate? No, it's video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're actually working with DSLRs this time. This is the first time I've worked with a DSLR. Typically, DSLR stands for? Uh, what does DS DSLR stand for? Digital Single Lens Reflex. Yeah, it's a camera that does movies. As opposed to a multiple lens? Right. Uh, point and shoots usually have multiple lenses. Move in there closer. you got to get right on top of it. A point and shoot usually does have multiple lenses, such as the viewfinder is different from the one that takes the picture. Oh, okay. Right. So... Um, this is a, an event that goes on all over the all over the country, all over the all world. All over the world. Um, it's a worldwide event. Competitions held in cities all over, all over the world. Um, I think they're do. They just got done doing New York's competition last night, and we start ours on Saturday at seven o'clock. <clears throat> so what's going to happen? You've got you've gotten um, what what have you gotten together so far for this? Because you don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Excellent. Not just the fact that, like, I've you never fit in the show before, perfectly. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Literally, here. we don't have a genre until or or anything. We were supposed to pick our genre out, our our character, our line, and our prop at seven o'clock Friday. Actually, next door here at Jupiter, Friday at seven. So until then, I have to prepare for every possible thing that we could might have to do. Yeah, the idea behind that is that you draw your genre, your genre and what you have to include in the project. Just you get it picked out of a hat for you, so nobody can cheat and go ahead and plan ahead. You just have 48 hours to come up with an idea, get your team of writers. I think we have five. We have five writers, yeah. yeah. Uh, to uh, start cranking out the script at uh, the moment they get that. Um, when the actors show up at about 6 in the morning. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get the actors there at 6. Uh, it depends on what, again, what our genre is. If we have to start shooting at 9 or at night, a night shot, we would actually start bringing them in as soon as we're done writing the script. So that's the thing. You've got who have you got? You're going to write the script. Who's writing the script? I'm writing the script. Um, then four other people. Christine Stymax writing this, this script with us. Bellamy Richardson's writing the script with us. Um, I'm drawing a blank right now. Well, what's Jimmy uh, is writing the script yeah. with us. Uh, there's there's a few of us that are. So you you're going to there's going to be a big hat, and how many how many uh, groups are participating this time? I think we're up to 25 now that we're competing. I think it's 25. Are there that many genres of films or are there going to be an overlap? <laughs> well, some of them are kind of like, you know, you have comedy then you have like dark comedy and then you have like thriller and then you have like suspense. So they kind of, there's a little You know, bit if, if you choose the giant monster, you might be boned. I don't know. <laughs> well, the one that's the scariest, I think, is the musical slash and or country or western and that's the one I think I'm terrified of because... There is musical country western? Yes. It's a, it's a musical western it could be musical or western or a musical western. Singing cowboy. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, cowboy. actually, that genre was very easy to produce. It usually was done by smaller companies because you just put the guy up against the fence with the guitar and <laughs> and went with it. You didn't have to get the horses. You didn't have to have extras. You didn't have to block any action. And it took up maybe about 
you know, 12 minutes of film time, boom, that's money in the bank Alan right there. seven minutes so, the most, so four at the minimum. That would be difficult to get a horse. Horse would my Just need a fence. Sure. Cowboy, I think we have guitar, access to a horse, a fence, <laughs> you know. Let me know if you need anybody. We'll see if we can find somebody from here. Yeah, everybody, all the actors fill out this form, like, what can you do? And they say, well, what do you mean? We mean everything. Can you ride a horse? Can you swim? Can you uh, scuba dive? Can you parasail? Um, are you afraid of heights? Um, this is sounding you, more and more dangerous yeah. as it goes well, on. Well, I don't think we... No, no. There's no. at least forms we have to sign. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, performers... And so how, how performers have been uh, signing up for this? We have a few. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I have a uh, – well, right now my crew's at 44 people. I don't think we're going to be using 44 people. But um, I needed to get a crew that big to kind of keep it up so that whatever I need, I have. So I got actors that can do this. I have actors that can do that. I have actors that can sing. I have actors that can do action, drama, whatever it is I'm looking for. So when I figure out what it is I'm doing, I could just call them and be like, okay, you're in. Get ready. Let's go. Yeah, meet at the appointed location. Uh, it's going to take about two hours for makeup. We're going to be shooting um, all day. Yeah. And basically, when midnight rolls around, we're going to be throwing back the monsters and the energy drinks, uh, put, doing post-production from, what, midnight till 5 in the morning? And when do we have to yeah, turn Yeah, I don't in? think I'm going to get any sleep the whole time because I'm kind of involved in every aspect. i got the, the producer role, and then I have the writer role, and then after all that, I'm editing this film, so... There's so now with the uh, with the equipment now, so as you're you're recording scenes, there's also uh, ways that you the uh, the type of equipment. Could you describe what the type of equipment? What do you record onto, and then what what's the next step after that? Because well, it gets using, from the inside like, sorry, the camera to inside the computer. It doesn't right. go right into. The, the well, we're using DSLRs, which makes things easy. We don't have any kind of film. Which right, is, that which is takes nice. takes a and lot. Then of I just that. you know plug it straight into the computer. At that point, we have a we have a, two people who are working as field editors. We're going to be labeling the files and then syncing and then, then putting them into Premiere, then syncing them with the music with the, on the, on the audio with the actual film. And then from that point, we'll take it to headquarters and put it on another computer and we start editing. Yeah, we would usually edit in something called Avid or an Adobe Premiere. And those, um, it's kind of like uh, akin to Adobe Photoshop, but it's for film. Uh, we also got our hands on a GoPro, actually, as well. So the GoPro will be something that we would love to experiment with. Um, Wait a minute. Is that GoPro near here? Is it? You were using the <laughs> GoPro in the last uh, segment here on the, the show, The you? GoPro is behind your left oh, shoulder. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it's running right now. <laughs> yeah. So it's hopefully taking some HD uh, It's the size of a matchbook. Yeah. And so basically what it does is it takes HD footage um, in a fisheye lens and you can put it mounted on anything. It is a tiny little camera. And um, what it will do is you can you can take it um, mounted on a helmet or you can um, get a monopod or well, the poor man's monopod, which is actually a barbecue fork. We would just kind of attach it. With not, a, a, not a broom handle or uh, and some duct tape. That, that's mm. also that can also. That's a work. little ghetto. The barbecue fork. Oh, there's is no, the there's no give yeah, that's in that. Yeah, yeah, there's no <laughs> give in that. That's true. Right. Plus, it'll it'll flex a little. Um, and instead of a dolly to save time, like say we have a chase scene, someone we follow the actor running around a corner in Portland. So what we would do is put the GoPro on the barbecue fork, uh, get uh, Lucas Walden, who would be our director of photography, on a skateboard, and he could then just glide around the corner, holding this tiny camera that's about the size of what an apple. On a barbecue fork. Oh, wait a minute. All you got to do is film them going to the corner, then cut, and then just get the camera on the other side of the corner and get them coming around. That's not cutting Sure, edge. but there is some steep competition, though. <laughs> so what we're trying to do with our effects is, like, get it to the point where it's, you know, as professional as we can make it look. Cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me here. Keep talking. <laughs> this is a contest, remember. So basically it's the it's a hybrid um, event, contest, contest, and slash festival. So the idea is to stand out from the rest of the crowd. We will actually have a premiere sometime um, in Portland. and people can go. next week. Yeah. Oh, next week, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. So you're going to get this all done, and then it's mm -hmm. going to be shown in front yeah, of audiences. Yeah, and then we get to see our movies on the big screen. So what sort of cutting edge are you planning? You're planning on having, like, nice fluid camera movement. Sure. Sure. Exactly. And we have uh, dollies that we are working with, and um, I've just, so we're working with a couple couple people. Luke Walden and Josh Lucas are just amazing behind the camera, and so I'm really excited to see what they come up with. Um, 
visually. And then our director is Lion Richardson, and he's got a good eye for just uh, the absurd and weird. So I think <laughs> that it should be interesting what we come up with. So where can the, where will this be held? The um, the showings of everyone's films. Uh, I think the sh it's the Hollywood, isn't it? Is it? You know, I don't know. You can go to the Forty Eight Hour Film Project uh, sure. website. You know, right. just Google that, and it will give you everything that you need to know and more about the project. Um, it's been going on for about eleven years now. Yeah, well, twelve to thirteen. It started mm -hmm. in D.C. thirteen years ago, but it's been going on here in Portland for. I think this is the ninth year. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's the ninth year. And especially with the uh, advent of the um, uh, digital equipment that, that's really cut out a lot of time of, uh, you know, having to develop film and see sure. how that looks. And this year was the last year we actually still yeah. have to, you know, convert it to SD. We'll be, we'll be shooting in HD, but this is the last year we have to convert it when we turn it into SD. Like Austin, Texas is already at HD, so. Oh yeah, they hit theirs right. a little while ago. So there's, and then from this one, they'll be put up with the ones from other places around the sure. world. Sure, and then if we win, the, if we if we win this, we go to national, and we get, and then at that point we'll go to a worldwide. And if we win that, then um, well, if we win the national, then we have to do it again. Um, <laughs> Uh, hey, we'll find out about that here in just a little bit. We're going to take a little break here. I'm talking with Josh and Catherine about the 48-hour film festival. You're listening to the Monday Sampler. This is Fortunato, the over-40 teenage werewolf. And this is Community Radio KBO Portland. Stay tuned. As I said, this is the music show that takes time to talk and the talk show that takes time to listen to some music. Well, we are back on the... The Monday Sampler. We have Josh and Catherine here from the 48-Hour Film Festival. Participants in the 48-Hour Film Festival. Right. They've got their eyes on the prize. We're working for it. Yeah. they got the eye of the tiger. Or what is that? We call our, ourselves uh, Shooting Blind. It's the name of our production company for this team. Because that's pretty much what we're doing. We're <laughs> shooting blind. We have no idea. What so once doing. again, for those, it, they are this Saturday... There's Friday. going to be a drawing Friday. With Friday night, 25 different participating groups. They're going to have different genres selected. And then you're in 48 hours, they got to come up with a script, shoot it, which means getting the people sure. in the places where they're going to shoot it, yeah, with and music getting the it camera well. and get music for it, transfer it onto uh, hard drives edit that it. you can edit and then stick the music and the sound and some titles together. Yeah. Excuse me. In 48 hours to do all of this, and then it'll be shown to an audience out at the exciting Hollywood Theater. Yeah. It's easy. It's simple. What oh, it's, yeah, nothing to it. Yeah. Piece of cake. So we can yeah. event. Hopefully we'll have them back in a couple of weeks and we'll, on the next show, and we'll find out what exactly happened. So, but what are you, you are anticipating uh, a chase scene? Uh, We're in trying to anticipate every possible thing without... Without going too far overboard, but you know when, when you're doing something like this, you have no idea what you're to expect, so you pre try to prepare for everything. There's just really no way to do it. Yeah, like um, I'm prepared um, to assist with the uh, makeup uh, for zombies if we need zombies, mm -hmm. or you know perhaps we need someone um, to be assassinated. We might have to have a lot of blood. Sure. Um, another scenario might be that it's a romantic comedy. We need two people that kiss well together, so we just grab our actors randomly and say, "Hey, kiss now." <laughs> um, if it doesn't work on screen, no one's going to believe it. Exactly. Sure. You know, that's sure. right. It's an important thing, you know. It's like, um, can I have a little more passion, please? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then if you get the giant monster genre, well, you're boned. If well, you actually, if I get the giant monsters, I'm, I'm super excited because I got um, my friend Christine Steinmeck. She's amazing with makeup. Just amazing. She does all, she did my yeah. zombie movie. Uh, oh, yeah. When yeah. I did a zombie movie a little while ago, she did all the makeup for that. It's yeah. just, it's, it's awesome. We got friend like uh, she has friends named you know Amy Gray over at Comedy Sports and they have a whole bunch of costumes over there that are just that are just fantastic for for that and they've given us you know permission to use some of that stuff. What's been fantastic is like I've had so much help from people that just came in and offered. So it's really great to see how how nice people are when you, when you ask them for some help with this. Yeah, and if we have a giant monster, don't we have someone doing CGI as well? Yeah, we do have a couple guys do or a guy and a girl doing CGI. 
3D modeling, and mm -hmm. plus we can do camera tricks, like we take a little spider and have it crawl over the top sure. of the coin tower if we have to. We have a green room, too, oh, if we need to do that. Oh, man, yeah. this is getting better and better. So, so we... Uh, so you're anticipating being up all weekend? Yes, I am. Yeah. We're, we've, you know, we got a great, our friend Mia Armstrong, she is letting us uh, use her house as our headquarters. So we have a room to sleep in. We're going to try to rotate the crew so, you know, you get a couple hours here and there. But, uh, I, yeah, I pretty much plan on staying. A lot of coffee. <laughs> a whole lot of coffee. Yep. Mo Monster Energy Drinks should be our sponsor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. We, we do anticipate a lot of chaos, though, on other projects. Sure. Things haven't gone so well. So what have you heard of other um, uh, places around the around the so actually around the world that are doing mm -hmm. this? Sure. And um, and so then there's going to be uh, a sort of a playoff as you go to the Nationals. Where are the Nationals being held? Austin or someplace yeah, like that? I don't, I don't even know. Right now, I'm so focused on just trying to get through this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really can't see any farther than and that. A, and avoiding a, a repeat disaster of uh, the incident with the, the band. What sure. was this? Sure. What was this? You had a disaster? Well, it was just uh, well, the equipment. We're, we're, you, the equipment's really expensive. And I was working on a, a stage a while back where someone fell. Well, I, I fell through. Fell down, hit a bass drum, which knocked over a bunch of brass instruments, which knocked on top of a xylophone which was a very expensive xylophone and this is like a th oh you you chose the three stooges sure <laughs> <laughs> right. i think that's if you if you choose the comedy if you're chosen the comedy just like do a silent comedy yeah that mm -hmm. way you don't have to write funny dialogue mm -hmm. you just do funny yes, things and there. the worst thing was was the cameraman said oh i didn't get it yeah oh i hate when that happens <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like it's going to be an exciting weekend, and we'll have you back in two weeks to find yeah, out how great. it all uh, turned out on the 48-hour film festival. Uh, we can uh, check out, I guess, at HollywoodTheater.org uh, yeah. to find out the they'll schedule. Be sell, yeah, they'll be selling the tickets to the showings. Thing. I think they're yeah. $9. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, come on down and check it out. Josh, Catherine, good luck. Break a leg, all that show business stuff. We'll Thank hear you. what the results are next time on the sampler. So thanks right. for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. <laughs>